All right. So hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about question number one. Question number one: A ball is projected at twenty-eight point three meter per second at an angle of forty-five degree to the horizontal from the top of a tower of height sixty meter upwards. All right. So before that, maybe we can draw a simple diagram according to the question given. So. A ball is is projected. This is let's say this is a ball, right? It's projected at from a top of a tower. So this is a tower of sixty meter. The height, the height of the tower is sixty meter. All right. So the ball is projected at an angle of forty five degree. Forty five degree is basically like this. Right, so project the forty five degree to the ground. All right, so wait, what is twenty eight point three referring to? It is basically referring to the initial velocity small u, right? So the initial velocity at here small u is equal to twenty eight point three meter per second. All right. So, do we have U S and U Y? U S, what is U S referring to? U S and U Y. U S is basically referring to the initial velocity of the S component. And how about U Y? U Y is referring to the initial velocity of the Y component, right? So, this is U. U is twenty-eight point three. Where is U S? U S is basically here. U S right horizontal motion at S component, and how about U Y? U Y is the vertical motion. This is U Y, and the angle is forty five degree. Okay, so before we go to the question, there are a few information that we need to notice and understand by referring to this table. All right, horizontal motion is basically The S component, S component. How about vertical motion? Y component. All right. So for the first one, final velocity. Remember the final velocity for the S component, V S. This is a symbol, right? V S is actually equal to U S initial velocity of the S component. So let me re repeat again. So basically, final velocity of the S component is equal to the initial velocity of the S component, right? So how about the vertical motion for the velocity of v y? So v y is basically equal to u y initial velocity of the y component minus g t, right? And how about there are two equation for the velocity vertical motion v y. The second one is v y square equal to u y square minus two g s. Right. These two equation is basically from the linear motion. The formula for the linear motion. What is the formula for the linear motion? V equal to u plus a t. And the second one is v square equal to u square plus two a s right? Okay, so for the displacement, the symbol for the s for the displacement of the s component is s x. So s x is basically equal to u s initial velocity of the s component multiplied with the time taken. All right. So for the displacement of the y component, the symbol is s y. S y is basically equal to u y t initial initial velocity of the for the y component multiplied with time taken minus one over two g t square. All right. So this same. This is H, this formula is actually from the linear motion s equal to u t plus one over two a t square, right? 
So the final one, last one, the acceleration. The acceleration for the S component, remember, it is always equal to zero. All right. So how about the acceleration of the Y component? A Y is basically equal to negative G. So that's why for, for these three formula, by referring to this one, for these three formula, we change the A equal to negative G. All right. So let us see the question part A. Part A, the question determine the time of flight. Okay, what is the actually meaning of time of flight? The time of flight is basically meaning the whole journey, the time taken for the whole journey before reaching the ground. What does it mean? So basically, the time taken for the ball from the starting point, this is starting point, right? From the starting point to the ending point, this is ending point. So the, basically, the time taken for the ball from starting point to the ending point. All right? So by referring to this formula, which formula can we use? Can we use the velocity? The formula for velocity, these three, cannot, right? Why? Because we don't have the information about the final velocity. Do we have the value for the final velocity by referring to the question? No, right? The question is only providing the information of the initial velocity. So we cannot use this for this three formula. How about the displacement? Can we use this one? No, because SS is actually referring to this from here to here. This is actually SS. What is the name for the SS? SS is actually equal to horizontal range. Horizontal range. Which we will be calculate the horizontal range at part B. So the only formula we can use is this one. All right, so copy the, copy the question. SY is equal to UYT minus one over two GT squared, right? So what is SY? SY is 60, but remember, I will put a negative sign here. SY is actually equal to negative 60. Why? Remember, when the displacement is released the starting point, this is starting point, right? When the displacement is below the starting point, we need to put a negative sign. Why? Displacement is vector quantity. Vector quantity is the quantity that has magnitude and direction. Displacement has direction, right? So remember, when the displacement is under the starting point, always put a negative. How about if the displacement is above the starting point? That's that we put a positive sign. Okay, so in this case, the displacement is under the start starting point. We put a negative 60. Alright, so equal to, equal to uyt, t is the value that we want to find, minus 1 over 2. What is the value for g? 9.81 right t squared okay sorry guys so there are there are two information that i forgot to explain just now actually we can find the us and ui by referring to the question given what is us us is the initial velocity of the s component so us is actually basically equal to u cos theta all right so by referring to the question, is the U provided initial velocity 28.3, right? So just substitute it. 28.3 cos theta is the angle provided, 45 degree, right? So 45 degree. So the initial velocity of the S component US is basically equal to 20.01 meter per second. Okay. So how about the UY, initial velocity of the Y component is basically equal to U sine theta. The cos is for the S component and the sine is for the Y component. U sine theta equal to initial velocity 28.3 sine 45 degree. Alright, so equal to 
20.01 you can use a calculator to calculate it all right so do we have the value for us and ui yes i refer to here ui we have the value right ui is equal to 20.01 so it's negative 60 is equal to ui 20.01 t minus 1 over 2 bracket 9.81 t squared all right so this is a quadratic equation so we can exchange it exchange the position so it will become negative 4.905 sorry 9.05 t squared plus 20.01 t plus 60 equal to 0 right so in this case we can this is actually the quadratic equation from the mathematic so we can use the formula negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a all right so why would why do we use this formula because they have got a decimal places all right so what is the value for a by referring to this equation what is the value of a the value of a is basically equal to negative 4.9 I'm referring to this equation right a how about b b is positive 20.01 20 20.01 20 and how about the value for c this value of c is 60 all right so we can substitute this value into the equation negative b 20.01 20.01 20 plus square root b square what is b square 20.01 square minus 4 a what is the value for a negative 4.905 what is the value for c 60 over 2 a what is the value for a 4.905 all right this is plus and they've got another value minus for the minus right negative 20.01 minus square root the same 20.01 square minus 4 bracket 60 over 2 negative 4.905 all right so we can get two values this values is equal to 6.09 and this value is equal to you can use a calculator sorry and this values is equal to negative 2 all right so can time be negative no right so basically this is rejected so the final answer the time of flight is 6.09 second okay let me highlight again what is 6.09 second referring to is it, it is referring to the ball from starting point the time taken for the ball for the starting point to the ending point so basically the ball takes 6.09 second from here to the ground okay going to part b determine the maximum horizontal range like i said before what is horizontal range horizontal range is basically equal to ss which is the distance from here to the ending point okay do we have the formula for the ss yes by referring to this one s s is, is equal to u s multiplied with t all right so just copy it s s sorry s s s s is basically equal to u s t right do we have the u s by referring to here right 20.01 okay so equal to 20.01 do we have t yes from the part a right t so okay let us analyze first this distance is basically from the starting point to the ending point right the distance so the time taken we use must be the time of flight the time taken for the whole journey right so the t is 6.09 so the final answer is 1 to 1.87 what is the unit for the for the horizontal range 
return. All right, going to part C. What is the maximum height reached by the object? So basically, what is the maximum height? The maximum height is basically referring to here, right? This is the maximum point. Maximum point for the ball to the ground, right? So this I give a symbol big hash. Okay, so remember when the question is requesting us to find the maximum height, only use this formula v y square is equal to v y square minus two g s. Why? Because only this this equation got v y and s. Okay, look at this one. Do we have the, do we have the s? What is s referring to? Distance, right? We are for part C. We are actually finding the height. The height is the distance. So for this formula, we don't have the distance. So we use this one. Okay. Before that, remember when the object at the maximum point. This is the extra information. The when the when the object is at the maximum point. The velocity of the y component is equal to zero. V y is equal to zero. Why v y is equal to zero? Because the ball initially the ball is the ball is changing direction. The, the ball is actually going here, right? The the ball is changing direction from upwards to the downwards. Right, this is upwards and this is downwards. So when the object changes direction, when the velocity changes direction, the velocity of the v of the y component must be equal to zero first. So basically, v y is equal to zero. Okay, part C. But I said just now, only use this equation: v y square equal to u y square minus two g s. So copy v y square equal to u y square minus two g s all right so what is v y square zero right by referring to here so zero square is equal to u y square what is u y here right 20.01 20.01 square minus 2 g 9.81 what the s s is actually small h Okay, what is actually small h referring to? Small h is re actually referring to from here, the maximum, the distance from here to the maximum point. Here. H. This is the small h. So we need to find the small h first in order to find the big h, right? What is the, what is the distance from here to the ground from here? It is actually 60 meter, right? So the maximum height for the for this object must be 60 plus hash is equal to hash, right? The hash is the total distance, maximum height is equal to the this distance 60 meter from here, 60 meter plus the small hash. Alright, so you can find the hash. You can use the calculator so the find the value of the hash is 20.41 meter all right so by referring to here what is the maximum height can we find it yes so the maximum height is basically equal to 60 plus 20.41 so equal to 80.41 meter the maximum height is 80.41 meter Okay, going to part D. Determine the velocity at which it hits the ground. What is this velocity referring to? Final velocity, right? So the velocity when which it hits the ground basically referring to here. What is the V? Final velocity. Okay, so in order to find the magnitude of the velocity, what is the formula? V the question is requesting us to find the v so v is basically equal to square root final velocity of the s component square plus final velocity of the y component square all right so by referring to here do we have vs yes 
look at this small table. V dash is actually equal to US. Do we have the value for US? Yes, here. U dash is equal to 20.01. So just substitute here. Vs is equal to Us is equal to 20.01 meter per second. All right. How about Vy? How about Vy? Vy, by referring to this table, we got two equations, right? So we can either one. We can use either one of these equations. So in I will use the first one, Vy equal to Uy minus Gt. So Vy is equal to Uy minus Gt is equal to, do we have the value for Uy? Yes, by referring to here, 20.01. 20.01 minus, what is the value for G? 9.81. What is the value for T? Okay, T by referring to here, Okay, final velocity is here, right? So basically, T is referring to the time of flight from the starting point to the ending point. This is the ending point. So the final velocity is here. So we take the time of flight from the A, right? 6.09. 6.09. So the final velocity of the Y component is equal to negative 39.73 meter per second all right so can we find the magnitude of v magnitude of v final velocity yes v is equal to square root vs square what is vs 20.01 20.01 square plus vy square negative bracket negative 39.73 square so the final answer for the v is 44.48 meter per second all right so next we need to find the if we if we find the magnitude next we need to find the direction the direction of the velocity what is the formula for the direction tangent theta is equal to modulus ui minus oh sorry ui divided by us so ui here we can change it to vy because we are finding the final velocity so tangent theta is equal to vy over vs modulus all right so theta this is what we want to find the angle angle theta is basically equal to tangent negative one modulus what is the value for vy negative 39.73 by referring to here right over vs 20.01 20.01 modulus so the final answer is 63.268 degree all right what is which quadrant so by referring by referring to here vs or maybe i can draw a small graph this is small graph to here. Okay, Vs is the S component, right? So basically, it's either left, going to the left or to the right, right? So Vs is positive. So meaning positive, what is the meaning for the positive? It is going to the right-hand side, right? Vs is basically going to the right-hand side. Okay, for the Vy, if the Vy is, what is, why, why Vy is negative? negative so meaning that it is going downwards how about vy if vy is positive it is actually going upwards so actually is it is located at the fourth quadrant so what is this area called below the s below the positive s axis right this this area is actually below positive s axis how about here? This one is above positive S axis. How about the second quadrant? This is above negative S axis because here this is the negative value for the S. So this is above negative S axis. How about here? Below negative S axis. So by referring to here, 
if we are located it is located at the fourth quadrant so 63.268 degree below positive s axis